Hi there and welcome back to the library of the Forgotten in Ondra's strange abbey. We are posing as the Tidebringer and we're looking into things that give us some hints about what we're going to do here. We are here to do some recitation which will make us the high abbot of this abbey and that would be great because then we could st probably stop the army that is uh, moved by the Tidebringer. Let's see. Selected correspondences of Giftbringer Aiden? Hmm. Ah, uh, alright. That is only meditations. We're not interested in that. What's here? The moons of Eora, tides and moons. Is there something? Hmm. Not really. The great, the gift bearer's pilgrimage. Ah, uh, not really. Oh, we've. Oh, that is. Oh, thank God. Tells of the burdens of being a gift bearer. The lessons contained within may prove valuable. Outside the abbey, there's a mural. Yeah, so we we have to look at that gift bearers thing. That is uh, something Gerstein suggests. Well, she's into books all the way. So let's look at that uh, into that thing. The gift bearer of Ondra is traveling along the road when she meets a man in tears, holding a scrap of parchment. Why do you weep? asks the gift bearer. I hold here a letter from my wife. I tried to be a good husband, but the letter says I was not, and that she has gone to seek the company of a better man. Now this is all that remains of her. Give me the letter to me give the letter to me, then, says the gift bearer, for once you have forgotten the letter your wife can cause you no further pain. Man gives her the letter and finds his tears have dried up. He thanks the gift-bearer and leaves at peace. The gift-bearer continues on, contemplating the man's story, but not, does not get far before she encounters an old woman in tears, holding a string of beads. Why do you weep? asks the gift-bearer. I hold here a string of beads that counted the years of my daughter's life. Sickness took her while she was still a child, and she was denied the joys of her full life, and I the joys of her mother. This is all that remains of her. Give me the beads, then, says the gift-bearer, for once you have forgotten the beads, your daughter can truly rest. The old woman gives her the beads and finds her grief no longer gnaws at her soul. She thanks the gift-bearer and leaves at peace. Thinking on the woman's pain, the gift-bearer follows the road until she reaches the sea. In her hands she carries the letter and the beads. They are light in her hands, but heavy upon her heart, and she's crying. She prays to Andra to allow the objects to be forgotten and cast them into the water. And yet long after they have sunk beneath the waves, the gift-bearer finds herself still weeping. Merciful Ondra, pleads the gift-bearer, in your service I have helped people forget their troubles, yet though I pass them on to you, I may feel them still as though they were mine. How can this be? The gift-bearer listens to the wisdom of the crashing waves until she understands. To feel the troubles of others in your soul is a burden itself. However, she has no token to give to Ondra to bear it away, for the troubles are not hers to forget. I give myself to you then, says the gift bearer, for once I am in your care. No memory may haunt me, and with that the tide comes forth and embraces the gift bearer, and when it ebbs she is gone. Wow! What a hefty story, I mean. That is crazy. Oh, look at that, we've, we've gotten the, the steadfast has slash and pierce damage. She's a soul-bound sword. We have to look at that thing too that we got from, from Adiric. Steadfast is a single-edged backsword with a recurved guard and wire-wrapped grip. Though not especially fancy, the crafter's skill is readily apparent to any who hold the weapon in, her, in their hands. Bind this item. We'll bind it. Yeah, we have Night Shroud for crush damage, and we'll have that thing for Slash and Pierce. That will be cool. Let's bind our sword. <coughs> oh, 
<coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this is our perfect setup, it seems. Wow. So about these on well. they are crazy. We feel they are crazy. They are diseases that make you forget everything and everyone is afraid of these diseases. Why should you want to join them? Why would you want to forget? It is... To know something is a teaching. It is a blessing. However hard it may be, right? To live with it is to learn something. What's in here? A ways. Well, taking what we can. And what is this room? Oh, this is a reliquary. It, it this, it, the reliquary is there. Oh, all right, all right. The reliquary. We have to go there for the recitation, I guess. And the Halls of Silence are probably something we want to visit next. Have we been already in the Halls of Silence? Because we have to look around first before we... before we can do anything else. Hmm. Let's go into the Halls of Silence. Hmm. Truly strange, truly strange. <coughs> These Ondrites have a wisdom that I do not like. Maybe some people like it. I mean, if you, if you like to drink heavily to forget, <laughs> maybe that is to drown, your, to drown your sorrows, right? That is something you can say, but it is doubtful if it is a good idea. And this is indeed where we were already. Not a sound. Mind your center. You always knew this time would come. This area is forbidden. Also for me. All right, we'll be going then again. Let's go back to the halls of presence. <sighs> the halls of silence. So. We didn't get in there. We might go into the reliquary and look at that thing. What is in there? We don't know. We don't know. Is there that polypore or, or how it was called? From the dead fire archipelago? We're here again. All right. Let's go look at the reliquary, I guess. The best we could do. Oh, these nice floor tiles. They would cost a fortune if made in your house. Now we're to the fabled reliquary, where that army maybe has its source. I don't know. We don't know. We'll see what becomes of that in a very short time. Oh, here. The Whale of Tears. Strange. A long time ago that was. Saw the abbot holding the witness, and the veil of tears parted for him. Aha, the witness. Is that some kind of weapon? There's an urn here. Nice and slow. There's nothing more here. Alright. What were you talking about? Welcome, all right. 
Can we go into this place? Somehow? No? Water flows upward from a thin slit that cuts along the tiles of the floor. The water swells and condenses when touched, forming an elastic barrier that resists any attempts to cross it. <coughs> Alright, we're going out of here. This is a wonder if we've ever seen one, but... Maybe at the other part of the Halls of Silence will we see what we can do. Maybe there's not a guard there. Maybe that's where we can explore a little bit more. And there has been an area where we could go where there was no guard. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the Halls of Silence here first. The Halls of Silence. Sorry for moving around so much, but this is a blind playthrough, so... Surprised by everything. We don't know what we're doing, anyways. Not exactly, that is. We, are, we know what we're doing, but not quite exactly. So let's see where we come to now. In this frozen place, where we are thought to be the tide caller. And we should hurry up a bit, because... The... A uh, real tide caller might come from the conclave. Oh, we cannot go through here, it seems. Yeah, there's the pool of the anointed. We have to go back here. And then we have to go back and maybe to the abbey and around that. And then avoid going down there. Because I think we may have left holy chambers that are not ours to access so quickly. <sighs> but first we'll try the upper entrance to the Halls of Silence. And there's the ramparts of the Abbey. That's also something we haven't looked at yet. Let's run through the abbey. Yeah, hurry up in this place of meditation. We are the only ones working, right? No, they are all working somehow. Let's get it in here. Halls of silence again. And why are we not allowed there? We are the tight corner after all. Maybe we have to become high abbot first. Tragic fate strikes again. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. And yet. And yet. They will ask us to leave. I know that kind of thing. Yeah, they will ask us to leave. Wait for it. I'll be going then. So, we must first go to the ramparts, and then... Yeah, we want to look at the ramparts, and then we want to look at that other place where they discovered us, where there was effectively no one. The other side, where we still have our grappling hook hanging. Let's run to the ramparts, because we have no time to lose. And we want to stay fit. Let's get in there. Pretty curious here. What are they hiding? They're hiding something, right? Makes us even more paranoid than we are. Hmm. 
Passages of Ondra. Yes, we were there. Yeah, then let's go to that giant skeleton's leg, right? We haven't been there too. There's something here. We're the tide caller now. We can ah. <coughs> We're more the official tide caller now too. Tidal fists. And what's what's this? It's the entrance to the halls of silence. All right, another entrance. A lot of food here. And here is the giant wrist bone. Again. But we weren't right under the leg. We weren't here yet. The leg. The coppery sheen glistens under the layers of eyes that cling around this giant femur. The colors of a rainbow. Copper. Might be giant machines. And a mind gazer. Hope they cannot read your, our minds. But we're a tight caller right now. Right, we, we are absolutely. Holds of presence. Yeah, we'll, we'll use the the unconventional way again. Let's move here. <coughs> there we go. Let's swing across the chasm again. And in there we go. We've done this already. This is why we're doing it so shortly. So quickly, I mean. Ah. It's a little bit... This game feels more and more like Baldur's Gate to me. It has an unnatural epicness. <laughs> Maybe it's even a, even a longer story than the Baldur's Gate one. I don't know. It's... You could play this game forever and ever. So this way... Maybe the next way. There is some water here. Oh, and there's some people here. Low tide priest. Aimlessly, this dwarf jerks his head to the sides as if looking for someone. Do I know you? Low tide people. The low tide cipher. Clumps of moss frozen under a layer of slick and green slime build up between the cut stones. And this is some kind of lever. Forgive, goddess! No, it hurts! Oh my god. Make it stop! My head! The noise! Stop it! Oh, uh, we did something wrong here, did we? Uh, it seems like they're attacking. Uh, we didn't mean to do that. Now our diplomatic approach seems to be ruined, right? Well, all right. Uh, I guess let's uh, start here. I don't know. <laughs> now everyone's running to us. <coughs> We have made some noise. Ow! Oh my god, Quarrel. What are you doing here? Let's go with the devotions of the faithful quickly and Kelvasa 
He's attacking the low tide monk. Kevaba is. should be using Night Shroud and stuff. And be spreading Speaker to the Restless. And protect the backline here. Ow. Oh my god. Getting attacked from all the sides. Ah. Uh, maybe that will be good. I don't know. Everything happens at once. Oh my god, we need to heal him. Quarrel. Quarrel, hey. Hello. 50 endurance. And that gives us 70. We need we need to try this. And again, the bounding missiles. A cipher. We do have the essential phantom going. Holy Radiance now. Oh, what a terrible place to be in. That's that's in rage, actually. Forgive, goddess! My god. This is pretty much terrible. Because we opened that door, they all... Oh. Oh my god, 13 seconds. <coughs> Anyone attacking you? <laughs> we need to do something a little bit more extreme. Maybe the precisely piercing burst or something, or the, the capricious hex would be something that could save us a bit. At least. Ah, low tide priest, low tide monk. Yeah, attack the, the monk. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> so everyone is punished when he recitates something, right? Flagellant's path. Have to be silent here, is that true? What we need to do though is... Um, we need to kill these guys. And they are very tough to kill, it seems. Bronze horn figurine. What do we have here? Crackling bolt. Oaken scarabs. Yeah, we should definitely need them now. We have here an ebony spider. Anything, just about anything. And you have the bronze horn, the, the Adra guy. And Christine. We have to destroy them now. Wow, look at them. Bah! Wow! Something against reflex would be good. So the chain lightning, maybe. Maybe something. Yeah, chain lightning. 
You have to try with the chain lightning. And stay alive while doing that. Okay, Vasa is getting attacked. Which means we want to change our setup. Chain lighting worked somehow. Six enemies. The precisely piercing burst is also good. The chain lighting has a higher range. Not quite. <laughs> that thing can knock down too. Well, let's do that. Duplicate is doing what it can. Kevaba is back up on his feet. We need you, Kevaba. Kill that low tide monk guy. Blinding strike. What? He's immune to blinded? And to stunned? What is going on here? They seem nearly impenetrable. It's crazy. What I'm going to do here. Let's heal Lord Paul, maybe. Maybe that's good. Ah. Uh, very short time before we can heal a bit. These low tide guys are too, too strong. Capricious Hex doesn't do anything against them. Is there a weakness for them? They have a low damage reduction, that is all. So damage would be their weakness, right? Let's try this out. Let's go for damage. First. Healed second. Are they being healed or is that us? That we are being healed here. And they are not. Malignant cloud. They don't help us much. Mm. The piercing sigil. Don't need it yet. The wilting wind? No. Ninagol's killing bolts? Not really. Mm. Shadow flame? Maybe? Maybe away. <coughs> or maybe a, just a fireball? Fireballing them down would be the right way, right? Oh, stay alive. Hey there, we need to stay alive. <coughs> what is happening there? We have absolutely no chance in this. And now we need to go for the piercing sigil, if that is still possible. <coughs> now we need to wait until we can resurrect. Gerstein is under attack too. Oh, that low tide monk, we need more defenses. 
Almost. Okay, well, I should go attack this guy. And we are left to... I don't know. Rise again, science of Adon. Low tide priest at least is damaged a bit. Christine is at it again. We need damage. The killing bolt. No, we need reflex. We need all kinds of things like that. Lord's authority. Aha. Increase our might resolve and damage reduction. Might be good. Once per stronghold turn. I don't know. I think we need damage here. Nina Gold's Shadow Flame. It's just what we need right now. And then let's fireball again. Oh, God. Heal up. If you can heal up. <laughs> and now. Uh, Maybe the Shadow Flame again. Should do that. Kevava is prone again against that low tide monk. Quarrel has problems. He, mu he must save her. She's so close to going down. Vikastin. Sanctuary is the only thing that can save her, I guess. Prone for 16... Don't know how to survive this. Shadow Flame again. And now... Another Fireball. Quarrel, what? Ah, this guy's on quarrel. Oh, <sighs> Not good at all. Worth. Everyone's attacking our priest. I don't know. Can he heal himself very quickly? Critical endurance. Maybe we're lucky. Mm. Not anymore. Now the shadow flame again. I'd guess so. I think it's the only chance. And heal Lord Paul. <laughs> Flanked, blinded even. Injured, but we cannot hit him. It's... What? Let's attack this guy here. If we can hit that guy. Might be much better. Almost! Oh, now we can hit him. Christine, we need more damage. Fireball. <gasps> ah! That 
Monk. Oh. Now Shadow Flame again. Attack that freak. Lost another. <laughs> Oh, we need to stun these guys. It's absolutely terrible. Let's sap that guy. Can we do that? Please, sap him. Heal yourself. Quick. Oh. We're dying around here. It's... Should go for the Slicken again. Maybe Slicken can save us. Slicken has saved us so often. We'll need to try. <laughs> Guys, stunned. Need to stun him again. <coughs> Thrown away and prone. We're down. They're immune against prone. Everybody's dead now. <sighs> Potion of Eldritch Aim. We should uh, we should take anything that helps us. Christine is still what? She's still standing. How is that possible? Ah, uh, do we have some safety thing we could activate? Infuse with vital essence. Uh, yeah. He's thrown away because we still have the piercing sigil. We should remove, re renew that, right? We have that. We should renew it. The monk. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Lord Paul is still alive for a bit. Can we somehow heal ourselves? No, not really. That monk is just killing us all the time. <laughs> Not able to do anything. I think this is hopeless. But we'll still try. <laughs> the steen is barely hanging on. How is that even possible? powers that are down here are unbelievable and now they're at it again they're attacking because tin oh give okay, us prone and being <coughs> beaten down to nothing to rubble <coughs> she's down as well Ah, uh, we're dead. This is over. It's so over, it's unbelievably over. Almost. Uh. 
We have given it everything and it didn't work. Almost. Absolutely super dead. Well, this is the end. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Alright, so if you're playing Air Iron Man, don't play Path of the Damned. Pro tip. <laughs> oh my god, thank you for watching. We'll see how we can resolve that in the next episode. Huh. At least we don't have to take so many strange turns to come uh, to the place that we want. Thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out.